World Anvil. If you've been around, I'm sure you've heard about my favorite world building platform that lets you create literally whatever you want in a very easy to navigate interface. The more time you spend on it, the more you realize just how many tools are at your disposal. It's almost overwhelming. You can create articles from templates or from scratch, organize them into categories within your world, create maps and easily plop down pins with descriptions, create timelines of historical events, and one of their newest updates gives us charts. You can create family trees, pantheons, bloodlines, branching weapon modifications, man, I don't know. Your world is waiting, so go make something. Here's a video for your video pleasure. Welcome to the wild world of warlocks, the shitty underlings of actually cool creatures. To run through what a warlock is before we explore the Archfey, the only thing that we need to look at are pacts. Because without a pact, a warlock is as useless as male nipples, your appendix, and sunshine hydrox cookies after Oreo gave them the middle finger. When a pre-warlock learns about how fleeting and pointless human life is, their inherent human greed causes them to reach out to random weirdos from space and other dimensions for a sense of meaning, purpose, and power. And out of all available extraplanar beings of infinite power, ranging from the willing and powerful fiendish lords to the ancient and formless primordial deities, your stupid ass chose fairies. I recite these words to you. O oh, being of great power, ego, rogo, regium ridiculum, postulo magicus. So anyway, that's why I don't have a dog anymore. And hold on, I'm getting a call. Excuse me. Hello? What do you want? I am humbled before you, O oh, being of great power. I simply request in your Is presence. Some sort of magical power that you need? I yes, O oh, Holy One, I request your aid for power. Is there any particular reason you... To be honest, O oh, Great One, I need some pussy. Yes. Granted. Hell yeah! Congratulations on making one of the worst mortal choices. On par with plastic surgery and becoming a president, your life has changed permanently. For the worse. <laughs> But pop open the champagne because you have cool superpowers now. I think because Fey can be both good and evil, and magic powers that you get varies, let's look at some available patrons who you can humbly ask for cookies. I'll go over the examples and then make some up because it's funny. The Prince of Frost. He's a fucking god tier elven archfey who used to be a sunlight guy. But then his wife got bored of him because he's an elf and they're dumb, so his angsty sadness made him an eternal brooder. Packed with him and you get to run around doing errands for a crybaby who can't get over a girlfriend from high school. The, the queen, queen of farts and the color black. Our old friend. She's very evil. Like, entirely evil. She's a living trope of corruption. Oh yeah, also she owns the evil half of the fey realm. Tidiana. Tidiana what? <laughs> the opposite of the fart lady. She owns all the good fey and the whole Seely court. Her husband. All we know is that he's batshit insane and completely unpredictable. Oh hey, it's Mr. Tumnus. This guy acts like an idiot, but is smarter than you, and I like him a lot. Also, he's a satyr, so you know that he's packing heat. Let, let me just... There we go. Ancient hags. The secret rulers of pretty much every dimension. I mean, some are so powerful that if they die, they turn into an entire reality. What the fuck? Blinkus Dinkus, the dog god of Winkus. He's a 900 foot tall blink dog that gives powers to people with dog treats. Nymphus. She's a sexy water nymph who mates with warlocks during the day, but turns into a bunch of actual nymphs every night. Like, she just fucking explodes into mayflies and locusts. Lord Fredge of Edge. The Grand Fairy Prince of Fringes and Cringes. He only grants power to elves and half-elves with a dark past who brood at least twice a day. Okay, that was stupid. Back to the subclass. When you pop the big question to an arch fey and they say, yeah, sure, lol, you get the ability Fey Presence. Every now and again, you can project their presence to terrify or beguile nearby enemies. Yes, yes, hold on, let me press the button. Flash, you fucking moron. Oh. Who the fuck made this? I don't know, man. What the hell? Kinda hot. What? Your patron also teaches you fairy fire and sleep. 
be. Did you say something? Fire of fairies, uh, ruin this man's dairy. What, what the, oh God, why is it so bright? What the fuck is happening? What? I can't Toil see. Toil and crumbs. Nothing. It's just me. Now prepare for slumber. Then a little further down the line, you learn calm emotions and phantasmal force. Oh jeez, oh gosh, why would you do this to me? I can't see, I'm in agony and pain. As you serve your insane, unpredictable patron further, you earn a powerful gift that allows you to escape danger. Just don't make people too mad more than like twice a day, cause you run out of spell slots and then you get your ass beat. Now before you earn your next boon, your patron slowly grants you new spells that they think you might like, which I will continue to demonstrate using bare minimum effort. It would have been funnier if I didn't put any effort into this joke. I deceived you into thinking I was wearing a hat, but I'm not. <laughs> okay, congrats, you're worse than a wizard now because you can only do those like two or three times a day. And now that we've breached point alpha, the level after 9 but no greater than 10, where only 30% of campaigns dare to tread, and your fairy gives you more defense. You can't be charmed, and when someone tries to charm you, you can fucking launch it back. Hey, so, uh. What are the odds you and I have a chilly down down? Well, you failed horribly, but do you want to fuck anyway? Which is cool because you can just run around banging succubi with little to no consequence as long as you burn the wick in less than a minute. Let me stop you before we get to your last ability because nothing comes for free. Each warlock patron demands that you do whatever they ask or they can basically rip out your powers and your soul probably. Like the Prince of Frost would tell you to brood twice daily and attack the descendants of his ex-wife because he can't get over that. Or Oberon would tell you to kill a bunch of gnolls while balancing an egg on a spoon. Or Hearsome would tell you to go buy my merch. I mean, he wouldn't be super pushy. He just wants you to know that it's available and has really comfy fabric. Okay, last ability. Dark Delirium. Once per day, as an action, you choose someone to plunge into a false reality. If they fail to defend themselves, they enter that exact scene from Stranger Things where Eleven can only see herself and that slimy bloom face. They can only see, hear, and smell you. I don't know what to tell you, man. It's you and me here forever. Yes, no, it's the truth. Yes, enjoy it while it lasts. Ooh. Also, they're either terrified of or infatuated by you the entire time. And it only lasts for a minute and ends early if they scrape their big toe on like a sharp piece of peanut brittle. That's basically... I don't... It doesn't flow right, and that's why I left it out of the title. That's what basically fairy subclass is. You can leave now, or buy a shirt, or pre-order my book, or commission me to homebrew something if a tear ever opens up, or buy some dice, or subscribe. I literally forgot you could do that last one. I'd say stay inside and wash your hands, but if you watch to this point, you're probably doing that, and I'm proud of you. Oh. <coughs> I just ruined my green screen because I couldn't do this in one take. One of these stains is shaped like a dick. Me, 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 me. I offer to you a sacrifice of blood. No, not blood sacrifices. Something like a funny joke or doing a backflip in midair. Or... A backflip? I can't do that. I can uh, count backwards from a hundred. No. I could set myself on fire. Why would anyone want to do that? I... I could do some gay stuff. 
So anyway, that's why I don't have a dog. Why? Why would you do this? Why are you still here?